Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Frogs by Aristophanes. Frogs is a comedy play written by the ancient Greek playwright Aristophanes. This play was first performed at the Linnea, which is one of the festivals of Dionysus, which is in Athens, in 405 BC. And in that place, it got the first prize for it. The frog tells the story of God Dionysus and uh, he is worried about the state of Athens tragedians. So, he goes to the underworld called Hades to bring back the playwright Euripides back from death. And this is because Euripides died just one year before, that is in 406 BC. And along with him comes his slave Xanthius. And this Xanthius is portrayed as a more smarter and braver person than the god himself. And the play opens with Xanthius and Dionysus arguing about what jokes and what kind of jokes this Xanthius can use so that they can open the play. And throughout the play, in fact in the first part of the play, we find Dionysus making a lot of errors and Xanthius protecting Dionysus, proving that he is a true slave to him. In order to go to the underworld, Dionysus goes to his half-brother Heracles and asks him for the path to Hades. Now, Heracles knows the way because earlier he had gone there to bring back his hellhound Cerebrus. And when Dionysus goes to meet Heracles, he dresses up with a lion hide and he carries a club. Actually, this is the way Heracles dresses up. So, when Heracles sees Dionysus, he laughs at him. And when Dionysus asks him, which is the quickest way to go to the underworld haze, Heracles tells him that he can hang himself or drink poison or jump off a tower. Meaning, you can die and immediately you can go to underworld. But Dionysus says, no, 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 I prefer a longer journey because I want to live. Therefore, you tell me how you went there and he wanted to know the path and Heracles tells him to cross the lake which is probably the lake Archerian. So, Dionysus comes to the lake and there what happens is Charon takes him in a small boat. But Xanthius is a slave so he is not allowed to uh, come in the boat. So, they ask him to go walk around the lake and come back, come to the place where Dionysus will be taken to the boat and when they are going Dionysus is also made to row the boat for this person and here we find the first choral interlude which is sung by a eponymous chorus of frogs in fact though the play is titled as frogs this is the only scene in which frogs feature in the play and they croaking really annoys the Dionysus and he engages in a mocking debate with the frogs and when he comes to the shore, he waits for his slave Xanthius. And once he comes, Xanthius teases him by claiming to see the frightening monster Impusa. At this time, a second chorus, which is composed of spirits of Dionysian mystics, appear. Now, next they meet Achaeus, who, on looking at Heracles, dressed in the attire of Heracles, thinks that he is Heracles. And he is very angry with him because he had taken away Cerberus. So, Achaeus threatens to unleash several monsters on, on him for revenge. On hearing this, Dionysus gets frightened and so he asks his slave Xanthius to change their dress and he wears Xanthius dress. At that time, a maid comes and seeing Xanthius in Heracles dress, she thinks he is Heracles and she invites him for a feast saying that many virgin dancing girls will come there. And hearing this, Xanthius is very happy but Dionysus on hearing that virgin girls will come and dance along with them, immediately he changes again to his original dress. But the moment he changes his dress, many people encounter and they are angry at Heracles, so they try to attack him. So he escapes from them and again he makes Xanthius to wear his dress. And this is only for a comedy interlude. And then we find Achaeus coming, coming and uh, confronting uh, Heracles, that is Xanthius who is now dressed as Heracles and uh, Xanthius says uh, I cannot answer your questions. I think uh, my slave Dionysus can uh, answer you. So he says you take my slave for torturing 
and the way you torture him he will definitely tell you the truth and you will also come to know and now the terrified dionysus tells the truth that he is a god and he gets even whipped and finally dionysus is brought before acus's masters and the truth is verified and they find that it is not heracles but god at this time the maid comes and catches dionysus and chats him up and uh, they are interrupted uh, by the preparation for the contest scene and what is it is the maid describes that euripides and achilles since they are now in the underworld they are challenging about who is the best tragic poet at the dinner table of pluto and uh, both of them have recently um, like achilles died earlier and euripides has recently died so there is a competition for them for this seat that is the best tragic poet seat and pluto is the ruler of the underworld now after knowing that dionysus is the god they ask him itself to be the judge now euripides and achilles they come there and they come and they quote verses from their plays and not only that they make fun of the other person like euripides argues the characters in his plays are better because they are more true to life and logical whereas achilles believes his idolized characters are better as they are heroic and models for virtue and they keep mocking at each other and uh, showing how valuable they uh, lions are and uh, what happens is um, here they, both of them are uh, trying to degrade the other person by using the words which they have repeated in their play and uh, during the contest dionysus actually rules the stage he judges the contestants and uh, in fact uh, the process of their argument gives a better understanding of the greek tragedy in general itself and at the end of the uh, debate he brings a balance uh, and he asks both of them to quote a few lines uh, from their own uh, plays uh, and he says that whoever lines have the most weight will cause the balance to tip in their favor and they will be the winner so euripides produces verses of his uh and uh, in that uh, he mentions uh, the ship argo the persuasion and a maze and achilles responds with a river spequeus death and two crushed chariots and two dead charioteers and since achilles's verses refer to a heavier objects he wins the contest but dionysus is still unable to decide whom he want to take back to the earth so he finally decides to take a poet who gives the best advice am on about uh, how to say how to save the city of athens at this time euripides gives cleverly worded but meaningless answers while achilles provides more practical advice therefore dionysus decides to take achilles back instead of euripides actually he came here only take to to take euripides back but since he finds that achilles more intelligent and uh, he feels that his knowledge will help to uh, save athens when it is in trouble so he decides to take achilles and pluto also allows achilles to return to life so that athens may be secure and uh, since the play is coming to an end he invites everyone for farewell drinks and before leaving achilles says that in his chair only sophocles should be allowed to sit and not euripides and thus the play ends here it's a beautiful play written by um, aristophanes if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you